Hello, I am Dr. Saurav Patwadan from Nandadipai Hospital, FECO SICS Training Center, Sangli, Maharashtra, India. And in this video, we are going to see another video of quiz. And I want you to tell us whether the surgeon here is guilty or not. And we learn from this experience. So this is a dense mature cataract. FECO is planned. Anterior capsule is stained here with tripan blue and hyalucote is used to protect the endothelium because it's a dense cataract. The surgeon is quite cautious, knows that uh, a good capsular axis is essential for the surgery and also a good size is needed. A small size capsular axis should be avoided in mature cataracts. So cautiously, surgeon completes the capsule axis here. So just look for if there are any signs or something which you would have done differently in this case. This is the hydrodissection maneuver. Anterior movement of the nucleus is well demonstrated here. So the hydrodissection is done well. Replenishes the OVD and then nucleus rotation is done. Looks good. Is there anything wrong with this? So, so far it looks fine, but to watch out. It's a dense cataract, so decides to do half trench and then chop. It's a routine case, uh, nothing obviously wrong noted in the pre operative examination as well. Here was the first chop. Tries to rotate the nucleus. Probably has some issue with the rotation. That's what I feel that the surgeon is not able to rotate it well. So surgeon goes back, puts OVD, and again tries for the nucleus rotation. And that's a good thing because if you are feeling that the nucleus is not rotating well, it's always better to do the nucleus rotation before you go ahead, always simplifies the procedure. Is there something going on here? Not sure. Does it look odd anywhere? Surgeon seems to be finding it okay to go ahead so goes ahead another chop good control over hands and quick over there continues with the surgery well there is something missing here and there it goes. Well, that's what now there is no denial that the nucleus is now dropping. It has already tilted in the antivitreous. So the surgeon chooses to suture the incision and shift the patient to the next OR where vitreoretinal surgeon is available. So that is the case. Nothing wrong to begin with. Did the surgeon miss few signs here? Do watch the video again and write in the comment section what you felt about this case, any signs missed or how you will manage this case now onwards. We learn from this video. Thank you so much.